What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here at Hidden Heights Farm. I'm just going to let you guys know this video is not a uh, easy video for me to do. Um, I will let you guys know right off the bat. Our house got hit by lightning. Um, I will throw a picture up right here on some of the damage that it did. This is where it actually came in through the house. It came in through our fiber line, which our fiber has a copper line that comes in with it. So it came in through the telephone and the fiber line and went straight to all our electronic devices, which in this case, it went to our uh, wireless router and it decided to exit that router into the floor, which that stuff is in our pantry. That's what the picture you guys just saw is. But this is the uh, box that it rode in on. There's some underground wire that comes over here to this field. And uh, wherever the lightning hit, I don't know, but it traveled through there. Went in our house, did a lot of damage. And uh, it took out the garage door openers. It took out some other electronic devices, but that's the least of our worries. Um, you guys know all that is replaceable. But it did take out something that we cannot replace. And uh, that's kind of hard to talk about. Um, it took out one of our goats, one of our favorite goats. The lightning is crazy. I'm trying to get away from these noisy ducks. But uh, you guys know how dangerous lightning is. And you see this tree right over here. That tree, that cedar tree right there, is one of the goat's favorite trees to hang out under. Um, every once in a while they like to reach up in those tree limbs and they eat the tree as a snack. They also like to bed down under it at night. Um, during the day it provides shade. As you see right here, Ghostface and her three little ones was resting under it until they see me come to the gate. Did you think I had food, girl? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. So, you guys are probably wondering which goat did the lightning take? And, uh, this is, uh, very hard because I haven't even told the kids. I told Rachel, um, me and Rachel is gonna try to do a video today because I'm leaving for a few days. Me and my buddy Dutch, um, you guys know Dutch over at the YouTube channel, Keeping It Dutch. We're going on a trip. I'm not going to give you guys too much information yet because I don't know if this video is going to post before or after. But by the time you see this video, we'll be back. But I just don't know the chronological order of posting our videos that we're going to be doing. But anyways, I am leaving first thing in the morning, going to Florida. I will tell you that much. And... Uh, this is, could not happen at a worse time because I'm going to be gone for several days and uh, leaving the family and everything. But as far as the goat goes, it was the bottle baby Henry. If you guys remember the little bottle baby goat that Rachel and Kai was always bottle feeding. Uh, he loved sleeping underneath this tree. And I don't know if he just slept underneath this tree last night by himself or what. Um... I was trying to see if you guys can see the damage on these trees. Sometimes when lightning hits trees and it travels down through, it'll blow a hole out around on the ground. Sometimes it splits the trees. We've had that happen before, but it's always different. And I don't see anything obvious just from the uh, just from this view right here. But anyways, so you guys know we got hit by lightning. Um, it happened early this morning. It sounded like a very loud shot. So I immediately jumped out of bed and uh, I, I knew at that point that it was a storm. I knew it was lightning and the first thing that happens when lightning hits like that is I worry for my family. I worry for the animals. <laughs> we had a very similar situation happen four years ago. The day, the morning of us going on, or the, the evening of us, the evening before us going on vacation, I made a YouTube video about this too. Lightning hit over behind our big barn where the Kiko and the Spanish are, right back there. It actually hit a tree, went under the ground, and it traveled over to that barn right there. And it actually went through every single fence around our 20 acre property and it welded every gate shut. Anything that touched that metal fence that was metal, it arced and it either melted it or welded it to the fence. Um, some of the screws up on the roof of the barn 
it got so hot that it just melted the screw heads right off and some of that tin was just flapping i had to get up there and replace a lot of the screws so this is not um this is not abnormal to happen up here now as you guys know we are we are at a very high elevation it's very rocky up here so that's you know that's a disaster asking for lightning to hit i don't have any kind of special lightning ground rods or none, nothing like that off of our house or our power line but that's going to have to be something that um, I do a little more research to try to figure out what we can do. But I don't know. I need to, I need to inspect some more trees. I just have had have not had time. Like I said, Rachel was going to come out. We were going to do a video today because I'm leaving tomorrow. Anytime I'm going to be gone for a while, I try to bank up a couple of videos to have so I don't miss our regular schedule. And uh, Rachel's so upset right now. She couldn't she couldn't video with me. Um, talk about Henry um, it's something we have to address you guys know it's not always rainbows and butterflies I, I get tired of myself saying that but it's reality um, these lightning storms have been very very crazy this summer it's been very bad but like I said the first thing I did when I woke up is I checked on my family I checked on the house and I could smell smoke immediately. So that is, that's where I started tracking down. Where's the smoke coming from in the house? And it led me right to the pantry. But the smoke was a little bit different. You guys know what the smell of burnt electronics smells like. This was a little bit different. This actually smelled like if I was on the backhoe and I'm digging a hole, big, a big flint rock or something, and you're scratching at it, and you see that smoke kind of pop up from the flint rocks, that's exactly what it smelled like. And that's about the time... I put two and two together and I started looking on the ground and I seen that big hole in this picture right here. I'll put it up again. The lightning exited the Linksys router I had and it actually blew part of the tile up and went down through the concrete. I'm guessing it grounded out in the rebar of the foundation of our house. I don't even know. Um, like I said, I have not had time today to do much research going around inspecting everything first thing i did was check on the family check on the animals and then i was been dealing with garage doors not working our internet not working appliances and stuff like that not working but most of all dealing with uh our animals because uh we lost a life today which it doesn't matter who it was it don't matter if it was henry it doesn't matter if it was just another chicken that is uh it's it's hard it's hard to deal with um as any animal but some animals you just get really attached to like henry um you guys know at one time we thought about selling him and then we got to thinking like you know he's a bottle baby he's a cool little goat he's very friendly and uh of course that's the one that uh was taken by the lightning but anyways uh like i said the kids don't know yet i still got to go break it to them they're going to be heartbroken over it they loved getting out here and bottle feeding little henry and just coming out and just holding him and playing with him because he was one goat that was friendly he was raised by us by a bottle so when we come out here he usually always ran he got a little better the last couple probably the month or so when i come out here to feed and stuff he wouldn't come up to me as much bothering me wanting that bottle but if i said henry come here he'd usually come running um i'll try to throw a picture up here and there if i didn't already in this video so you guys remember who little henry was um very very bad deal very sad deal but loss is one thing hey quit loss is one thing you have to deal with when you have a farm and uh, these surprised i don't even know what to call it these surprise uh losses like the lightning and stuff like that is uh a whole nother world um you know it could have easily hit this fence and a lot of these goats when it's raining will sleep in the barn a lot of them will sleep under trees that's not good for as far as lightning goes because lightning hits this fence it's going to go all the way around and i'm sure that barn is tied into the fencing somehow or another at least touching it it will arc into that barn and any goat laying even close to that metal on the barn or around the fence if they're even close they're gone and that's that's a bad deal that's what happened to uh little henry this is the first time i have actually had a goat actually take a lightning strike and i'm sure it came in that tree right there but i'm gonna have to look around because it could have came in it could have came in at the power pole it could have come in at one of these other trees and traveled through the roots because when the ground's wet the electric travels quite a bit of ways it, it does weird things it did when it hit the barn 
<clears throat> it hit a tree about 50 feet behind the barn, but it traveled through the ground, through the wet ground, and actually shorted out through the barn, and then it ground out and it went all around our property through the fence. So I'm not gonna try to make this a whole long video. Uh, this is not the video I had any intention of making today, but uh, we're just dealing with all the uh, stuff, you know, dealing with the garage door openers and all that. That's that, it's a pain. It is a pain. It gets costly dealing with your appliances and electronics and stuff gets hit. But uh, this could have easily been a lot worse. It could have burned our house down. It could have hit one of my family members. But unfortunately, it did take a goat, which is never good. Um, but I wish I had a, I wish I had something good to tell you guys. Uh, but that's that's pretty much what happened. Um, I was able to fix one garage door opener. The uh, controller, the controllers in both of them actually got burned up and I had an extra controller. You can see part of our crepe myrtle got blown over in the wind last night as well. But uh, I'm trying to think, I don't even know what else I've got to fix. I've been out here working on this stuff pretty much all day long. I'm just now getting out here to do a video luckily thankfully it's the weekend so i'm off work and i was home when this happened um you know that's not what i wanted to be doing i need to be doing some other stuff because i'm going to be leaving out of town for a few days but uh when nature calls you got to do what you got to do so i did okay so here's a little backstory so i'm just looking at the bees real quick the bees are very busy today we got to pull honey from these bees very very soon probably do that when I get back from uh, our little trip we're going on but um, so I'm gonna kind of go back and tell you guys as soon as I woke up this morning to check on the family I found out where the smoke smell was coming from it did trip a breaker so that was a good thing the breaker worked that kept the uh, wires from getting too hot and arcing and causing a fire in the house so the breaker did its job okay so found that then I was just making sure there was no fire nothing else going on and then as soon as that happened I came out and I checked on Cora and Leesky and all the goats and then I went out here checked on Mojo checked on all those goats well you know it was dark it was early in the morning I didn't see Henry right away but I seen that most of the goats was okay um, most of them came from running out of the barn because it was still raining not all of them, but most of them were in the barn. So anyways, I just assumed everything was okay. But then when daylight hit, you know, I kind of go outside and take another gander and that's when I noticed. So, uh, dealing with that, not a good deal. So these goats were all okay. Nothing bad happened over here. There's my dogs, Corn Leesky. They were okay, thankfully. They were sleeping, where was, uh, Leesky was sleeping on the uh, compost pile and uh, Cora was sleeping out there in the weeds. I don't know why they like sleeping in the rain. Maybe it's because it's hot, I don't know. But they weren't sleeping in the barn. All the goats was in the barn. These ducks are just following me around. I'm trying to tell you guys a story and they're being kind of loud, but. So anyways, um, that's that. So, like I said, guys, I wish I had a uh, different video, different vlog to uh, put out today. But unfortunately, that's what we got dealing with that. And then I came out to the shop after I checked on all the animals because we got freezers. We got freezers and refrigerators in our shop. We got them in the garage. You know, that's our food. We have a year's supply of food in our uh, garage and in our shop. So if that went out, that would not be good. Um, but I came out here and none of the lights would work because the breaker for the light circuit was stripped and one thing I did not check yet was the garage door opener for the shop. Thankfully it works. Okay, that's a good thing because that has got hit by lightning years and years ago and I actually had to replace it too. So, oh man, it's just so hot today. But anyways guys, uh, please keep my family in your prayers and your thoughts. And uh, I'm, me and Rachel's got to go break it to the kids, which it is what you got to do. Sometimes as a parent, you got to inform your kids on things you don't want to tell them about. But 
it is what it is our kids understand living on a farm this things happen but you know it still don't take the heartache away but uh everybody's waiting for me to feed it's a little early for my, me feeding usually i like to wait later into the evening so it's not so hot it is just so humid right now and i don't know if you guys are dealing with this in your area or not i've talked about this on the last couple videos we're in northeast oklahoma july and august rain is almost unheard of and uh, i think we've had more rain in july and august this year than we have the rest of the months combined don't hold me to it but pretty dang close we like i said normally this time of year our grass is not green like this our trees are even starting to kind of die at this time but this year everything is green as can be everything is going strong the goats and the animals can't even keep up with the grass it's just growing so fast and uh, i've been mowing like every seems like every five to seven days which usually in july by july 4th i'm only mowing like once a month so you know the the rain is definitely a blessing from the lord and uh sometimes with rain i guess uh comes lightning and all that stuff too but uh just curious if you guys are getting this abnormal storms and th these last two storms we got just seemed like the lightning was just so much more intense than usual i don't know i just kind of curious to see what other people are dealing with in other parts of the uh states and uh, see what you guys have to say betty i just seen betty come out with her uh, kids she's got her three kids they made it through the storm okay she's she's kind of got them just browsing around the yard looking for bugs to eat doing her thing so and the ducks they're not going to quit laughing at me they're waiting they're waiting for me to feed but anyways guys uh i'm eager to hear comments down below do you do you guys have you have any of you guys had to deal with any of this lightning like we have like it hitting your house um more than once i know everybody deals with it hitting their appliances and stuff like that but this time i don't know where it came in at but it traveled at least out there traveled to our house now now that i'm thinking about it the phone line and the fiber that comes into our house actually is out in the pasture it runs right next to that cedar tree where i found henry like maybe two feet away from that tree two or three feet probably so i'm wondering if it didn't it could have came in maybe even further down the road and maybe those roots grew into that line maybe and with it being wet maybe it arced over to that tree and little henry was underneath it staying out of the rain and it got him because this line actually goes all down through our neighborhood so uh i don't know i'm just curious to see what would you guys do would you guys uh try to put some kind of lightning rod up somewhere i don't even know how that works exactly um i'm just throwing things out there because i sure don't want to have to deal with this again um like i said things can be replaced but life you just can't replace a life you know so anyways guys i'll leave that up for you guys to leave some comments and uh thank you guys so much for watching we love you please subscribe if you're not subscribed and we'll see you next time